Oh, starting with Mary out here. Okay. How about this planet next? Looks nice. Uh, sounds great. Okay, so we got some aliens. Got it. He always makes them stupidly thick. Uh, huh. Look at those stupid lanky creatures. I mean, you are pretty stupid. These things look different from us. Huh? Why is she yelling at us? She must be in shock to see intelligent life. <laughs> God, he just draw makes them so thick. Oh. And a crusader out here, and 1,000 years later, <laughs> the stupid Mexico aliens. They don't turn out to be so thick no more. Hing Hoi and also Mary making yet another beggar. Though here, I think like aliens would definitely destroy humanity here because they're so much, you know, like technologically different from us. Like a sword ain't gonna do much against a ray gun, all right? <laughs> like how, how could they possibly have lost? Anyway, what's cracking, guys, and welcome to another anime meme session out here. I, you know, I'm somewhat of a weeb myself. I don't know what gave it away. I definitely have zero clues around me that gave that away. But if you're a weeb too, well, welcome. Pop a chair up, man. I'm glad to have you here. Maybe hit that subscribe with the notification bell. It'll definitely help Chino's next paycheck out a lot, man. Do it. Don't do it for me. Do it for my editor. Let's, let's get some memes in here. So, knock Flugel here. Uh, man. I wish I was an off-brand protagonist. What the? Oh, he's a female. Aunt. Oh. Oh, and he's got the Cthulhu monsters out there. Well, be careful what you wish for. You became an elf girl. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse than orcs. Uh, <laughs> you can't win them all. Or maybe that's a win for some people. I, I know a lot of people out there that would definitely like tentacles. That, uh, though I think a lot of them have gone off the radar now. They're definitely not as popular as they used to be. I'll untie you if you join my crew. <laughs> what a, what do you know? SpongeBob did it first. I don't know, man. What's in it for me? <laughs> Patrick Bing of the Swordsman Goat Zorro. Yeah, I could see that. Sure, why not? Me reading the reviews of my favorite childhood movie, learning that the critics freaking hated it and it bombed at the box office. I don't think that's true for me. Like, how bad did Cats Don't Dance do? I That's one of my favorite childhood movies. IMDb gave it a 6.9, Rotten Tomatoes 74%. But Walmart gave it a 4.7 out of 5. Thanks, Walmart. <laughs> it was a box office bomb. Oh, I love that movie though, no. Oh, that's really bad, oh man. Dude, that guy looks like such a loser. Brother, wow. You never know what someone's going through. Yeah, come on, man. How dare you? Hey, buddy, what are you watching? Oh, I'm watching My Hero Academia. Dude, he's a loser. <laughs> Dude, I remember My Hero used to be like everyone was like loving it when it first came out because it actually was very good when it first came out. But now, after so many seasons and so much drama between the fan base, God, there is such a diverse opinion about that series. So we have two ways we can go. We can go to Pan Piano or we can go to Pino Kinkyo. Why is one the dark path here? I feel like... I feel like, you know, there's those are just two music channels doing some great work out there. I don't see why anyone would just be watching that for anything bad related. It's, to, it's just for music, obviously. You just watch that for the music and maybe some of the more accurate cosplays, surely. Now, should I also be like having some cleavage out here? Do I need to get like a deeper cut of a shirt out here? <laughs> like, how, how can I use this? The ending of One Piece. Okay. I never thought I'd see it. Damn, Luffy's old. Yeah? What is it? Take it to the SpongeBob movie! <laughs> Take it to the SpongeBob. Gosh dang it. It just went full circle again to SpongeBob. Okay. <laughs> you know, I feel like Oda would do somewhat of a joke out there for the ending of One Piece. It wouldn't really surprise me because, you know, Roger found it and he laughed at it. That was his response to the One Piece. So I don't know if it's funny or if it's something meaningful. I don't know. Lyrics of the song is about a fluff crime. And nine-year-olds on TikTok be like, oh, I mean, that's a really cute dance, I guess. <laughs> if this was like 10 years ago, you would be seeing this dance all over AMVs. 
everywhere. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I guess TikTok's taken over the whole thing and need of, uh, I guess, AMVs, so, eh. Ah, uh, Hing Hoi again here, yep. And hey, this is milk, right? And nope. Fuda milk. Uh, and then another person in here, hey, is this milk? And n no. Wait, wasn't that the boy from before? Wait, is this just something that transforms you into a... <laughs> wait, wait. Is this some dark, dark thing of transforming men into femboys? Oh, God. Well, they're not even fanboys anymore. They're actually just turned into females with a wiener, so they're fudas. Filipino invention that could give robots human-like feelings wins robotics award in UK. And soon we'll have Chi Chan. Hey, from Chobits. Maybe that that would be. The, I mean, the future's here. Once we're making the, we're we're making those robots, we have fluff dolls. We'll combine them together, put feelings together. There will be no need anymore for actual real women. And then they'll put them in funny little anime girl outfits and stuff like that. Make them designed after anime girls. And bam, there you go. You have your own very own anime girl. And uh, yeah, society will be ruined. Me and my sleep paralysis demon discussing which off-brand to viciously beat my meat to, then cry myself to sleep. Ah. And a philosopher talking to monkey. <laughs> the monkey even looks very dressed up. It looks like they're having a very deep conversation. Ah, oh, yes, 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 quite. Mm. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> it's like, man, I can't fall asleep. Maybe if I beat my meat, I'll fall asleep quicker. And, yeah, maybe. Yeah, sometimes it works. Although sometimes it makes you... Uh, too awake, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a 50-50. Oh, Nekoark, and she's, there's a pipe bomb in your mailbox with love, and, um, okay, and Devil Man reaches in, oh, some lad was kind enough to send me a pipe bomb. <laughs> Devil Man appreciates that out there. Very kind. Would him and Nekoark be, get along there? I don't know. We just have an office lady just passed out out there. Oh, man. I want to pamper an overworked office lady. <laughs> what is this? Dude, I want my girl to come home after a hard day at the office so I can pamper her. <laughs> it's like reverse Senko. <laughs> the guy actually just wants to be Senko. Okay, so we got a lady and 2,400 Krispy Kreme donuts, perfect for every occasion. The donut chain uh, created the special double hundred dozen as part of its new occasion offering switch caters to large-scale events and parties. That is so many donuts. Hello, yes, I would like 2,400 donuts. Okay, what event are you hosting? The event is called I Am Going to Eat 2,400 Donuts. Krispy Kreme, what you're buying is not a donut. I don't care what people want to call those things, all right? They're just sugar. They're literally just sugar <laughs> that's all it is man veily disguised as a donut it's just pure sugar actually i'm curious how much sugar is in a krispy kreme donut a single krispy kreme donut has 10 grams of sugar okay and how much sugar are you supposed to have in a day 25 grams i see <laughs> that's for women for men we're allowed 36 grams ha ah, women debuff i guess unfortunate Hey, Straw Hat, you remember the thing I used to blow away an entire town? My special buggy ball? No. Oh. <laughs> my boy Buggy. Oh, he's so, he's so heartbroken, my boy Buggy. That's my boy Buggy, man. I I think he's funny. He's such an interesting villain. You know, you kind of want to root for him for being such a loser. Senpai is annoying mom out here saying, uh, it says free spirit in English, and that's... I mean, I guess that could mean free spirit in some sense of the words. Sure. A lot of people don't understand what Japanese says out there, so the reverse is also true. I was in Japan and a lot of people had some weird English on their Ameri or like American writing shirts, all right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they understood what some of that stuff said. Apparently, One Piece film Z used an Avril Lavigne cover of How You Remind Me for its ending. And... Holy crap, what? Achiri Oda and Avril Lavigne are actually mutual fans of each other, and he contacted her to do two songs for the film. He even drew fan out of her in his style. What? He's got the crossbones and skulls in. What? Yo, that's sick, actually. Oda the goat yet again out there. Getting them fans and getting what he wants in it. That's just cool, actually. That's just really cool. 
Yo, this motherfucker is cheating out here with Neko like having Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon and what a Visa card, a credit card in there. Hey, yo, I mean, that, that could technically be Sento Kaiba again. Just getting his benefits. I got the Neko arc in here in this video. We are set, lads, all right? The, the Neko arc has made her way in the video. I will become king of the pirates. I will become the Hokage. I will become the Wizard King. And I will sit here and watch them chase their dreams. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the inspiring point of shonen anime. You're there to watch people achieve their dreams. Do the impossible, and maybe it'll motivate you. I mean, maybe, that, that being the key word out there. You know, me, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy looking at anime, booba. Regardless, though, that's how we're going to end our little anime session out here. Hope you guys had some good, sensible chuckles. <laughs> if you did, I got plenty of videos for you to check out. And if not, well, at least hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again in the next video.